Good afternoon. Good afternoon. In behalf of the Ophalia family and Yen clan, we would like to thank you all for coming and welcome you to this great event in the life of Brother Lupin Malu. A great time of celebration as well as giving thanks to the Lord for his faithfulness to his precious couple. Precious because they have been all the way through faithful to their God, to their congregation, and of course to each other as husband and wife. And we have come together tonight to witness this time of renewing their marriage vow to dedicating themselves to each other as husband and wife, and thereby be a lot more effective as our partner in the ministry of serving the Lord. Amen. And so I'd like to invite each one of us as we move on in this uh, <coughs> ceremony to be much in prayer and committing them to the Lord, even as we call on Miriam to lead us in a prayer of dedication. Let us pray. Father in heaven, the only true and wise God, we are gathered here today to witness the marriage vow of this precious couple, Luke and Malu. You have ordained marriage in the Garden of Eden, which also represents the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. Or for those who have accepted the Lord Jesus as Savior, will be married to you someday. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We ask that you will give them the ability to keep the covenant they have made. When selfishness shows itself, grant generosity. When mistrust is a temptation, give them moral strength. When there is misunderstanding, give patience and gentleness. If suffering becomes a part of their lives, give them a strong faith and abiding love. You have been so good and faithful for the last 30 years. Please, God, continue to bless them with so many years that yes. this couple will continue to shine yes. for their family to Heather and Jay, yes. to the church and to the community, yes. that they may see their good works and yes. glorify our Father in heaven. Amen. Yes. Bless us as well who are gathered here yes. in Jesus' name, who is above all other names. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you. languages of men or even angels, but if I do not have love, then I am only a noisy bell or a ringing symbol. I may have the gift of prophecy, I may understand all the secret things of God and all knowledge, and I may have faith so great that I can move mountains, but even with all these things, if I do not have love, then I am nothing. I may give everything I have to feed the poor. I may even give my body as an offering to be burned. But I gain nothing by doing these things if I do not have love. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous. It does not brag. And it is not proud. Love is not rude. It's not selfish. And does not become angry easily. 
Love does not remember wrongs done against it. Love is not happy with evil, but is happy with the truth. Love patiently accepts all things. It always trusts, always hopes, and always continues strong. Love never ends. There are gifts of prophecy, but they will be ended. There are gifts of speaking in different languages, but those gifts will end. There is the truth we should see clearly. Now I know only a part, but at the time I will know fully, as God has known me. So these three things continue forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Thank you, Mary Paul. May God bless us to the reading of the Holy Word. Barbu and Malu.